Let's see if I remember how to do this, shall we? What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It has been a long time. It's been a long time, but I hope you guys have been phenomenal. I hope you had a great end of the year. I hope you had a great start to the beginning of the year. Uh, I have been doing a lot recently. Been basically attempting to do this full time with the comics, going to conventions, and I'm gonna hop on the YouTube bandwagon, trying a new setup. This isn't gonna be the set going forward, but I'm like, what am I gonna do? Let's just get some lighting. Let's get something put on the wall and let us record a video at the end of the day. Just sit down and hit record is basically what I'm doing right now. And I'm excited to get back on the YouTube space because it is where this all started. And I'm very thankful to everyone who has stuck around and stayed. And I cannot truly thank you guys enough for allowing me to go down this journey. And then I'm gonna do everything I can to show you what this year looks like and also examples of how I do this full time. But what's the easiest way for me to get back into a video is by at least doing what the very first video all those years ago was a CGC unboxing that was also pressed, graded, and sent back. And today that's what we're gonna do right into something very easy that I know how to do is gonna be a CGC. I've unboxed it already, but we're gonna show off grades of books that I had submitted for a pressing. Pressing is a very important thing for books that may have defects that can be, in essence, pressed out to help increase the grade of the book. Now, at certain books, it does increase the value as well, but at the end of the day, if you have a book that you wanna get a higher grade, there could be some pressable defects that are on there that'll help bump the grade up. So that's what I did. I took some books that I thought could it be maybe a 9.4, 9.6, maybe a 9.8. They needed some pressing, so I sent them in to Impressive Comic Pressing Services right there. Link down below, and he, Gary, went ahead, pressed them, sent them in, got them back fast, and today I'm gonna go over how we did on those grades, hopefully at least a couple nine eights. Without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Start off with a really good one first. First up, we got a beautiful copy of Darth Vader number three, the first Dr. Aphra. Now, yes, the book has taken a bit of a different value, but at the end of the day, I still feel it's a very difficult nine eight. I have these, who knows when she's gonna show up, hopefully sooner rather than later, but Submitted a couple of these and we got one back in a 9.8, so very excited about that. And then the second copy got a 9.8 as well. So two for two on the 9.8s. One was a raw copy and then one was a 9.6 previously. So at the end of the day, the raw was the nice one that I evaluated, had potential, and this was a 9.6 that I saw that had some pressable defects. Cracked it, submitted it, and then I got the 9.8. So that's uh, two for two so far on the cracking. Next up, we're gonna have a copy of Kanan number six wow next up we're gonna have a copy of canon number one the last padawan it's either canon number one or canon number six this one specifically says this is the first appearance of canon ezra chopper hera sabine and zeb in comics but also people affiliate six as important as well so you'll see people valuing canon number ones and then canon number sixes at the end of the day get both if you can and you just cover both your bases but this was a nice ungraded copy that I was able to submit and get a 9.8 out of this one as well. But today, guys, I'm gonna be giving away a free book from the submission, so I want you to comment down below with what type of videos you'd like me to come out with this year or coming up or anything specific you want me to cover, and then just like and subscribe, and that's it. Gonna give away a free graded book. First video out, it's the least I can do. Thank you guys so much for everything. Uh, speaking of can number six, we also got a can number six. It did come back a 9.6, but this is one that I felt the press was going to be my best shot, and it was going to be on that fence of whether it be a 9.6 or 9.8, but this one came back a 9.6, but still has pretty good value in a 9.6, maybe about that 150 to 170 range on a 9.6. Following up that can number one is a great cover of the canon number one, the Scotty Young variant, a uh, personal favorite of mine just because of the pure rage and chaos that Kanan has brought upon those droids in this issue, but a 9.8 in this one is another nice addition to the Star Wars collection. All right, next up we're gonna have, we've got a lot of Star Wars today, so we're gonna have Darth Maul number two, this iconic cover with Darth Maul on the cover. More importantly, it's also the first appearance of Cad Bane, which is why I thought after uh, a little spoiler here, if you didn't know, Cad Bane did show up live action in the Book of Boba Fett, so there's a bit of hype around that, and we don't know whether or not something happens in the end of the series. We're gonna we're look forward to find out if it continues further in the next live action shows, but 9.4 on this one wasn't too bad. Picked this one up ungraded and thought, let's see if a press can bump it up a little bit. So 9.4, nothing, 
to scoff at. Next up, probably the only rough one of the bunch, but it was pretty obvious to tell why. We have a Darth Vader one. This is actually the beautiful Alex Ross variant, something that I missed. There is a crease. Uh, color breaking crease on the top back of the cover. Fortunately, I did miss that and uh, this is why this one got hit uh, so hard. So, at the end of the day, Kanan, not a bad one to pick up. Should be showing up live action, hopefully sometime soon, but here's the Kanan number one, 9.6, another raw copy that I picked up for submitting. And this is the next one's an odd one. This one actually picked up the day it came out. I remember seeing it on the shelf, it was like $14. I'm like, isn't this the 1 in 25 ratio variant? I'm like, oh, this is the 1 in 25 ratio variant. So, was having some Hype to it because of the first appearance of Kira in comics. Uh, it's kind of cooled off a little bit like most comics have in the market. But still, 9.6 on this one. I didn't think it'd come back in 9.8, but I thought the 9.6 was a, or at least a press would give it the best shot. But 9.6 on this one isn't too bad for a 1 in 25 solo Star Wars adaptation. Speaking of Dr. Aphra, there are, different, there are four different printings of the Dr. Aphra. We have Darth Vader number three. Uh, in a first, second, third, fourth, and all the changes is the color background. So this is a red background for the second print, green for the third print, and surprisingly, but I guess not surprisingly at the end of the day when you learn about print runs and things like that, the fourth print, which is the purple background, and it does hit very hard, it's a very beautiful purple background, that is the most valuable of all the printings uh, and most sought after with the lowest print run. So the fourth printing is the most valuable, uh, and then I think it was like first print and then second and third. But a 9.2, kind of rough on this one. It just has more printer rub on the back that hurt the grade on there, but still. 9.2 for a second print on a first Dr. Aphra, not a bad thing. Uh, this one, next one was a fun find that I finally submitted. This one I knew wasn't get a 9.8 or a 9.6, so I thought, let me see how I get it graded. Maybe a 9.4, but a 9.2 isn't bad. This was actually a half price books find. You guys never know what kind of great books you can come across half price books. I picked up some crazy stuff like this, was a half price books. It was only ten dollars because it was like it was not obviously a high grade, but it was still a very hard to find one in ten animation variant for the Kanan series. And picking this one up, I thought it was a great deal at the end of the day. At a nine two, I'll still make a little bit on there on this if I sell it, but still a great hard book to find. Also, tip if you can get to a half price books, you never know what they could have. I picked up, I found this for ten bucks. I found a detective eight eighty for four dollars. It's not very often, but when you do come across that gem, it definitely makes that day even more exciting. And the last Star Wars book of the day is going to be the free one to you guys for just being amazing, beautiful humans that you are. So for free, just comment, like, and subscribe to the video. Uh, get you a free copy of Darth Vader number one. This is actually the third printing, so one that is not as easy to track down, but just got to give you guys something for just being amazing and sticking there with me and hanging it out and just being so patient, and I cannot thank you guys enough. So Darth Vader, number one, third print for you guys. Just make sure you comment, like, subscribe. I mean, share the video if you'd like, but just the first video back, I'm very excited. But yeah, free and comment down below. Once again, what kind of videos you guys want me to do this year? I'll be doing a lot more vlog style videos. We had a lot more conventions, uh, more unboxing videos, maybe more tips and tricks on how I have decided to take the leap of faith and try to do this kind of full time. So please let me know down below. I look forward to reading all the comments and responding back. Uh, next up, as always, if anyone's watched all the previous videos, I've always had some sort of either some sort of indie book, either a something to the children or a canto. Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a nice, hard to find canto number three, nine point four, one in ten ratio variant. Now, the reason I got the nine four, uh, it has just a bit of wear and tear, as I would like to put probably some color rubbing on the front because it's all white cover. So, some books probably from the back of the book. Kind of got some color rub on the front spine, which is why I hit that 9.4. Otherwise, it is a really pretty copy. But still, an awesome book to have. Not as easy to come across for these 1 to 10 ratio variants. They were very low, low print run at that point. But Canto number 3, 1 to 10, beautiful cover on there. Wrapping things up with a beautiful ASM 607, J. Scott Campbell goodness. These covers speak for themselves. Even at 9.4, still a very sought after and desirable J. Scott Campbell. Here's another one that doesn't pop up too often. We have the ASM J. Scott Campbell, the 606, but this is actually the black and white variant. The other other cover isn't the variant, it's the main cover, where Spider-Man is, full, the rest of the comic is in full color, color. But this is the one that is kind of the black and white variant on there. Uh, 9.6 isn't too bad on this one as well. Very excited to get this back. Couple of J. Scott Campbells to wrap the show up. That is awesome. And uh, thank you guys so much for everything. Nice little submission there. Uh, shout out to Gary at Impressive Comics for getting these pressed. 
and sent out for grading for me. Cannot thank them enough. And once again, guys, free slab for the chat today. Just comment, like, uh, subscribe. And when you comment down below, tell me what kind of videos you're looking forward to or what you would like to see uh, coming out this year on the YouTube, on Skeps. This setup is just something I kind of put together. Now, I don't know, it's gonna be kind of fluid, but you know, trying to work on the lighting, backdrop, seeing what's gonna be in front of me. But I'm looking forward to the journey and I greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would come along on the journey with me as well. It's going to be one heck of a year, and I look forward to you hanging out with me on there and truly thankful. That's it. Wrap it up. Cut. We're out of here. Have a great day. Bye.